Hi, I'm Elise Alessandro, and this is Fab Stays. Fab Stays is an inclusive hosting site for LGBTQ approved hosts so that you know when you are checking in that you are in a safe space for someone in the LGBTQ community. It's amazing. Let's go check it out. We are staying at Bank House. This is in Marthasville, Missouri, which is right off of the historic Katy Trail and about an hour west of St. Louis. Our amazing host, Tyann, converted this property from what was originally a bank and then a dentist's office into like the most amazing accommodation for you to stay in. It's so gorgeous. In addition to Bank House, right next door, Tyann also has another Fab Stays property called Katie House. Katie House is a little bit smaller, but still amazing and cozy, and it's all bike themed. Katie House is the perfect Fab Stays for any bike enthusiast ready to hit the trail. He's going to take us through and tell us about all the hidden secrets um, that's inside the property. My name is Tyann Marsink Hammond, and I started in Vacation Rentals back in 2007. Okay. So I was pregnant with my third son. And that's when you decided to start a new business. Perfect timing, right? Oh, I'm pregnant. Let's let's start a new business. I mean, I, my thing is I hate cleaning so much that I'll start a new business rather than clean the <laughs> Just house. Just to get out of cleaning. I love it. I'm yes. here for it. Yes, totally. I also hate cleaning. <laughs> and after that, I decided I, I, I want to do something else in the community. Mm -hmm. uh, my word for that year was to invest. And I wanted to invest in my community. And a friend of mine who ha owns Happy Apples, mm -hmm. she said, oh my gosh, there is this awesome building right by our property. You've got to come check it out. Mm -hmm. So I walked in the store behind me and I'm like, this, this is it. You saw, you had the vision. You could see what this could become. Yes. I looked past the dental chairs <laughs> and the unusual dental artwork on the walls. Mm -hmm. Instead, I saw the hardwood floors, the tin ceilings, yes. and the vaults. The brick walls, I'm like, okay, gosh, the history. this is it. Yeah. Grow I grew up, I'm sixth generation in this area. Wow. So growing up, we would ride the Katy Trail that's right outside the door, mm -hmm. and I would ride by Marthasville and say, someday I want to have something on the Katy Trail. I want to live here, I want something. And in 1993, when the Missouri River flooded, like the entire Midwest, it felt like, the river flooded this. Really? So that's why you see a brand new floor in this building. Now, do you remember how far away the Missouri River was driving here? Yes. <laughs> yeah, seven miles away yeah, down I'm the like, highway. Yeah, that seemed like even before we went to the nursery, right, almost? Yes. Yeah. So the river is seven miles down the road that way, uh -huh. but it's not that as far when you go this way. I think it's maybe a mile and a half. Mm -hmm. But still, in 93, that river flooded and was all the way up into this area where we're wow. sitting. And so this was all redone by the dentist. He did an amazing work. He patched um, the tin ceiling mm -hmm. so that you could see, I know you, he took it and he made molds mm -hmm. and fixed things. And so when I came along, when he had retired and I was able to purchase the property from him and just give it new life. So it never really sat empty. Oh, he, it did for decades. Oh, it did? Between, oh, before him. Before oh, him, okay, yes. I was like, okay. So, yes. so he fixed it up and then you were able to come in and be like, okay, now this can be a rental property. Exactly. It's not, no longer a dentist office. So. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it had um, an old dental chair here. Mm -hmm. The two dental spots were there. Wow. I, there were sinks everywhere. This was a wall. Mm -hmm. um, so this was a kitchenette a area. Down. Right. So we took a lot down, refigured things. Mm -hmm. and. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, you did an amazing job. So Thank the you. fact that this is just like, you have this vision when you walk into a place, like you can tell because everything feels really thought out. So I, I love it. And um, so tell me about, so you started in 2007, this vacation prop, vacation rentals. Mm -hmm. And then I assume you went on like Airbnb or? Well, pre-Airbnb. Pre, that was pre-Airbnb. So yep. then once Airbnb came, you went on that. And then how did you find out about Fab Stays? So I met Robert okay. at, um, gosh, what event was? I think it was Host. So Robert's here in the US, mm -hmm. but we actually met in London. You met in London. That's I know. so funny. <laughs> 
So I got to meet Robert and he told me about Fab Stays and I, I told him like, I'm in. Yeah. Totally in and we started with these properties and mm -hmm. then I'll get my other properties on there yeah. as well. Definitely. That's amazing. So tell me what being a Fab Stays host means to you. It means just welcoming everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the goal of our properties. Whenever I create a property is I want to create a place of peace mm -hmm. and security for families and friends to come together, build bonds, build memories, and just forge all of that together because families is the base of community in life. Mm -hmm. And you, you are here for the idea that families come in all forms. Yes. And you know, that is, that is so nice to, to hear and see as a queer woman to know that like, if I have a family one day, I could be, I could come and stay here and I would be accepted Absolutely. and that means a lot. And obviously, you know the community really well. So you can mm -hmm. say, I know that you'll be okay in these establishments because I know this community and, yes. I, and you'll be safe. So that is a huge thing. Safety and accessibility are the things that are the most important to me when mm -hmm. I travel as a plus size queer woman. I want to know that I'm going to be safe and that I'm not going to get stuck somewhere <laughs> and that um, I'm not going to break a bed or anything like that. So I can tell that everything feels really thoughtful that you've really thought about how to make this an inclusive space. Absolutely. Being in Marthasville, it's a small town, but coming through Fab Stays, we knew that we would be safe here in this small town. Tyann, our host, she's a Fab Stays host. That means that she recommended businesses that were safe for LGBTQ people and also accommodating and wanted us to be there. Ready to stare, ready to drink. This wine. So this is our dessert wine, the sweetest wine we make. 17% sugar. Woo! And it's like liquid candy. It's like liquid candy. Sounds like right up my alley. Let's try it. Oh yeah, that is liquid candy. That is so good. So Marthasville is a rural town located about an hour from St. Louis, but you can still just drive that hour and get the best of both worlds and go to St. Louis, which is a bustling Midwest city with a thriving LGBTQ culture. And we're gonna show you some of that too. grateful for Fab Stays because I don't always feel comfortable staying in small towns as a queer person, but knowing that I was here with Fab Stays and that our host is committed to being accommodating towards the LGBTQ community, not only accommodating, but inclusive and making sure that we're safe, I felt comfortable. And you just can't get that anywhere else but Fab Stays. So make sure you check out the links below and come stay with Fab Stays.